Let's draw the structure for hexanoic acid. This is a carboxylic acid. This oic acid here tells us that this is a carboxylic acid. Now, whenever you see OIC acid, this just means that we have a C O O H present. We have a carbonyl group present and we have a hydroxyl group present. We can also write the COOH as carbon double bonded with oxygen. This is the first CO here. And carbon single bonded with oxygen here. And this oxygen is then bonded with this hydrogen, this hydroxyl part here. So every time we see oic acid, we just draw the COOH. Okay, so let's look at the parent chain. Hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the longest carbon chain. This AN here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons in the parent chain. Okay, so let's draw the six carbons. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. And we will start drawing from this carbon here because this is our first carbon. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's number these carbons. This is our first carbon here. This is the second carbon. Third carbon. Fourth carbon. Fifth carbon. And the sixth carbon. Now the carbon present in the COOH is always the first carbon. Since we're drawing a line structure, we don't really need to write out this carbon here. So this is the first carbon right here. And from this carbon, we have our oxygen, which is double bonded. And we have an oxygen right here, which is singly bonded, which is also attached with hydrogen. So this is the structure for hexanoic acid. Let's draw the structure for ethanoic acid. This OIC here, an acid, tells us that this is a carboxylic acid, meaning that we have a COOH present. We have a carbon, oxygen, oxygen, and hydrogen present in the structure. Now, when we draw this COOH, we end up with carbon double bonding with oxygen which is this first carbon and oxygen here and then carbon having a single bond with this oxygen right here and then a bond between oxygen and hydrogen it is also a single bond this OH right here Okay, so this is our COOH. Now we need to draw our parent chain. Eth right here tells us that there are two carbons in the longest carbon chain. This AN right here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that we only have single bonds between the carbons. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. Remember, the carbon in the COOH is always your first carbon. So this is our first carbon. Now we need to draw another carbon because we only have two carbons in the parent chain. So let's do this. Okay, so this is the first carbon right here. And this is the second carbon right here.
Okay, so since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to write out this carbon here. So this is the line structure for ethanoic acid. Let's draw the structure for butanoic acid. This OIC here and acid here tells us that this is a carboxylic acid. Every time we have a carboxylic acid, the first thing we do is we write down COOH. This is something we need to memorize. Now when we draw the COOH, we end up with this. Now, the first CO here, the first carbon and oxygen here, is right here. They have a double bond between them. And then, this carbon is also bonding with this oxygen here, but there is a single bond here. And then that oxygen is bonding with the hydrogen here. There's also a single bond here. So this OH is right here. Okay, now we have our COOH drawn in. Now we're going to work on the parent chain. So but right here tells us that there are four carbons in the longest carbon chain. This AN right here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that we only have single bonds between carbons. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. And our trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, so once we have our parent chain drawn in, we are just simply going to connect our COOH with our parent chain. Now the carbon in the COOH is always the first carbon. This is our second carbon. This is our third carbon and the fourth carbon here. So this is the structure for butanoic acid. Let's draw the structure for pentanoic acid. This OIC here tells us that this is a carboxylic acid, meaning that we have a COOH present. When we draw the COOH, we end up with carbon having a double bond with oxygen, which is this first carbon and oxygen right here. And then carbon having a single bond with this other oxygen right here. And then hydrogen and oxygen having a single bond, which is this OH right here. Pent right here tells us that there are five carbons in the longest carbon chain. This ane here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, Four. Okay, now we're just simply going to connect our COOH with the parent chain. Okay, so now that the parent chain and the COOH are connected, let's number the carbons. So the carbon in the COOH is always the first carbon. This is our second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon and the fifth carbon. So this is the structure for pentanoic acid.
let's draw the structure for 3-methyl pentanoic acid. Now, this OIC here tells us that this is a carboxylic acid, meaning that we have a C O O H present. Now, when we draw this COOH, we end up with carbon having a double bond with oxygen. This is the first CO right here. Then carbon having a single bond with this oxygen here. And then this oxygen is also having another single bond with this hydrogen here, which is this OH right here. Okay, so now we have the COOH drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. This pent right here tells us that there are five carbons in the longest carbon chain. This ane here tells us that there are only single bonds between carbons. And this is an alkane. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. A trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we have our parent chain and we're just going to move it over to connect it with the COOH. Okay, so let's number these carbons. Now, the first carbon is always the carbon that is present in the COOH. So, this is our first carbon. Second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, and the fifth carbon here. So, right now we have pentanoic acid. Now, we need to draw our side chain, which is methyl. So, the methyl is attached on the third carbon which is right here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach the methyl on the third carbon. So this is the structure for 3-methyl pentanoic acid. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.